Ready. Yes, okay. We got our quick, quick, original Filipino street food, but done in a different way, in a Guyanese, Guyanese way. So it's not the regular quick, quick you may know. So Ashanti, butter. How are you doing, guys? Don't forget, Backyard Cafe. Like, share, and subscribe. New stuff is going on. Pan the camera around and show them. Um, Backyard Cafe presents Border Green Cafe. Backyard Cafe presents Border Green Cafe. It's a new cafe that's coming soon at Border Market, right? So we're coming up with recipes to present to you at the new cafe location we're gonna have in the heart of Georgetown. How cool is that? So one of the things we're gonna be adding is a Filipino street food using quail eggs. So it's a fusion of Guyana and the Philippines. What they would do is uh, uh, mix a flour batter and use the quail eggs, fry that, put it on a stick, three or four on a stick, and that is a street food. It's phenomenal. It's exciting. It's something new. Folks never tried that before. If you ever try quail eggs here in Guyana, I know I would go for dim sum. I would have quail eggs and things like that. You know what I mean? But um, to have it as a street food, never did. So, so what we're doing is changing the whole concept and how you see food. So instead of the regular egg ball, we're going to put the quail egg on the stick. And we're going to serve this up with a pepper jam. So this is cassava. So instead of the flour, we're using cassava. So it's a small egg ball. You know the guy, these folks are going to look at it. He make an egg ball and put it on a stick and then call it some fancy thing. What is it? Petite egg ball. All right, my son says a petite egg ball. <laughs> Gourmet egg ball. All right. So the first one is finished. We didn't have to go through the whole notion with um, these two are kind of big. Put it over there to get cool off. So I'm, we're just showing you how we're going to serve this up as a street food. And you know we're always ahead of the game. Changing the way people see food. Helping people to understand Guyanese cuisine. Where it came from. And... Um, this is part of it right here, right? So, get people fam familiarize, uh, 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 familiarize. I know what kind of fancy language that was right there. It's like my brains went to sleep there just now. To get people familiarize with local ingredients, you give it a twist with something that they can relate to. So when they see it, oh, I know of Quack Quack, they have it here too. But when they bite into it, it's not the flour, it's cassava. Right? And that's the whole concept of the whole thing. Because we have many Filipinos came on the market tour with us. Right? So this is going to be nice and golden brown. Oh, we must thank Miss Eloise Webb, who is a religious fan watches all of her show supports the backyard cafe a hundred and ten percent so these are our s'mores sticks miss eloise webb would love to have some more of these uh, uh sticks please for what we were about to do nice golden brown look at that a little bit more color in there so go ahead and um put up your batter so thank you miss eloise webb for giving us the s'more sticks would love to have some more for the new cafe please don't forget guys like share and subscribe if you would like for us to uh, uh, do a recipe for you put it in the comment section we put it we do it and we call your name there you have it right there it's golden brown right i'll put this one back get a double fry on this one here because the oil wasn't hot enough for this one. So I'm going to get a double 
fry is gonna be even crispier. Look at this. Can you hear the hear that sound? Oh yes. Turn this over. Nice golden brown. I love your batter, Ashanti. So Miss Eloise Webb, thank you so much for my gift. Would love to have some more. Miss Eloise Webb, one of our biggest fans. Always commenting, sharing our content, sharing it with her family, having all of our parties right here at the Backyard Cafe, sharing the wealth with everyone. Frying that up nicely. And what are we gonna be serving this with, Ashanti? So we're gonna have a sweet, savory kind of thing going. So, yes, we're gonna have mango sour, yes. But I got some mango achar. And then I have a habanero, a chocolate habanero pepper jam. You're not gonna find this any place else but the Backyard Cafe, all right? Now, look at that. That's ready, Ashanti? Oh, wow, look at that, look at that. Quail eggs. Hold it, bite into it. Street food at its best. Thanks to all my Filipinos friends, this is for you. Ooh. Mm. Bro. Yo, Ashanti. Massive, man. Massive. Well done. Check this. Paul! Ah. Mm hmm. And that's how fast it's done. You see? Simple. Easy, simple, light snack, gourmet street food. So you're gonna be on the go, get on a stick. You're gonna be hanging around at the cafe at Border Green, having some cappuccino, an espresso, and you want a light snack, it's gonna be on one of these sticks that we got from Miss Eloise Webb. Thank you for my gift. It's gonna be used well. It's hot, bro. It's crispy. It's flavorful with the mango achar the habanero pepper jam it's tasty my goodness that is some good stuff right there all right so you guys come try would love to have you guys try this on camera achar boat no achar bro trust me bro put achar on one then achar on one and just a little bit pepper jam on both huh so that's the last one there, Ashanti? Yep. A lot of pepper jam. A lot of pepper jam. Serving up my son. One more, one more. One more dab of the pepper jam? My goodness. It's okay. It's 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 all good, brother. <laughs> it's all good. You want it dripping, leaking. Look at that. Whoa! Go ahead. Go ahead. And you got the crunch there too. Show the, the little quail eggs. How, how is the crunch? 
dude, I'm watching you eat this thing and I dribbling. My son right here, man. <laughs> Miniature egg ball. Petite egg ball. Petite egg ball. <laughs> if you're in the Philippines, they they, they use that. They, they call it quack quack. Mm -hmm, I've heard of it. Good. Egg ball loom petite. What, what's the name? Egg ball loom petite. Mm. Um petite. Um. Un. Un. Um petite. Un petite. <laughs> Remember, I'm adding that to the um, menu. You know, so when they see that now. Yeah, 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 I know, but I'm gonna add that, right? Just for the crazy thought of it. Come, Ashanti, come, come, come. Let's go, let's get you on camera. How, how would you like this? Everything. Everything. So when I put that up there now, the small circle that always make fun of us and laughing at us, that doesn't know anything about food, what you think is gonna be the reaction to this now? What is it? Um, Egg ball, un petit. <laughs> That's gonna be one, one, one for the record books again. What are your thoughts? Now, would you come to the cafe and buy this? <coughs> well, I work here, so I could just make it myself. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. This is good though. Really good? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Egg ball, un petit. And that's how you cook an egg, Ashanti, nice and soft. Nice, soft mm -hmm. eggs. Ashanti cutting up your <laughs> eyes and everything. And your eyes bright, bright, bright. No, the egg be hard, man. But this is good. That is street food at its best right there. Have you ever seen it before? Have you ever seen anything like this done before? Nope. And you actually got a chance to do it, right? So, Backyard Cafe, Guyana. Border Green Cafe, one of another uh, uh, recipe, another uh, thing added to the menu. Street food at its best, right there, right? Ronald, your turn. How would you like yours done, buddy? Everything. Everything. Ronald didn't make a mistake there, though. You went for the big one. <laughs> pepper jam, buddy? Lots of pepper jam? Egg ball, un petit. Name from my son. Egg ball on a stick. Egg ball on a stick, I said when I wrote up a Dainese snowman. Young chef, Ronald, what do you think? Yeah, Unique no is different. <laughs> You like this better than the regular egg ball? Because you're not getting uh, too much egg, too much cassava. It's, it's just, you can eat it in one shot. Like, it's, it's a similar invention to when Dunkin' Donuts thought of munchkins. Munchkins. Oh, I love munchkins, bro. <laughs> you could just get a, a nice 12 pack of munchkins and it's like eating a donut, but better because it's the miniature version. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some things are better fun fries. Ashanti, can I hear from you? Good, good. Glad you like it. Glad you like it. It's golden brown. It's crispy. I like that sound. Hit it again for me one more time. Ooh. Oh, it's crispy. That's right, Ashanti. Ronald. Your thoughts, buddy. I know you, you give it already, but you were eating. You couldn't finish up um, mm -hmm. everything that you're saying. What do you think? But yeah, it's, it's really good. And I think it's a good um, addition to the new coffee we opening because no one ever seen it before. And you know the backyard coffee always about uniqueness, right? So yeah. it's very unique. But why is it that, that, that the folks that's living here or those, that tiny circle of folks, right? doesn't understand what we're doing or what, what we're about when it comes to food and introducing food to 
I feel the world. because they never experienced certain foods from like outside because we just use the regular Chinese food with normal food cooking. Like we don't want to do nothing outside the box. We never want to do nothing come, outside. Come come closer. Now, so time is, uh, like okay. All right, now we do this. Now we try this. Oh, I never tried this before. I don't think it might taste good. Just like how you had we go in balls. We had a whole issue for them. No, no, no. They had an issue with it. I, I do not have no issues with it. And my thing is golden balls, and that's what it is. Exactly. If you would like to stop it, please try. So, to be very honest, I think guys, people should be more open-minded about like food because this is this is life. This is goodness right here. So you see this? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, and that's and that's that's what I said from the beginning of the the, the thing, right? Food doesn't uh, uh, have to stick to one continent, one country, one uh, city, one town, one, one community, one household, one grandmother. Because your grandmother did it this way, it has to stay this way. Stop it completely. When it comes to me, I'm gonna, I'm, every day I'm evolving. Every day I want to be a better version than what I was yesterday, last week, last month, last year. You understand? So I'm evolving every single day. I, I would never, ever, ever find the time to sit back and worry about what someone thinks about me. I have to live this life and do what I got to do. And for the people who understands us, understands me, I'm going to keep working and doing that for them. Right? So this is one new thing added. And I know for sure that the folks worldwide is going to understand this, love it, and come to Ghana just to have a street food. Because what... Guyana know about street food or had a street food before Backyard Cafe came on the scene. The just regular egg ball, um, probably some pilori, chana, mm -hmm. and black pudding. Now what we're going to be adding is real street food, not food cooking at someone's house and selling out of a car trunk mm -hmm. or a makeshift table and putting it in a food box. We're going to be in the middle of the marketplace <clears throat> using our local farmers using our local market vendors and serving up hot street food, hot meals every day, right there in the heart of Georgetown, Border Green Cafe, coming soon, right? Thank you so much for your hard work. We got some more. I know Ronald and everybody is going to do that. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paul, Wesley, thanks for your input and you're going strong. Don't forget guys, like, share, subscribe. Oh, 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 oh,